I'm using this tarot card. I'm shuffling it. And I want to show that I already started wishing on it. I will pick seven cards for J for Carnation. One, two, Five, six, and seven. That's all the cards for the nation. So, Canation was born on the year of the rabbit, 1987. And he also was born on the month of February. And he's got the sign of Pisces. Looking at the cards, I've seen personal struggle when he was a child. And during his teenage years, he was bullied. And you were bullied. And... I can see some crying and I can I can see some struggle during your your teenage life with identity and it shows acceptance but it took a while for you to love your own self because I can see on the cards that your past is really hard the past was really sad but you're beginning to pick up good things now and you're beginning to become the better you when it comes to love life oh my this one someone is in love with you at the moment and he's really muscular he's really handsome and he got a soft face and he's very much in love for you and looking at it, he's thinking of you. Why? Because of this. You always thought that you will never find someone. And it's becoming a vicious circle that you're being abused. So maybe it's your self-worth that you have to that you have to prioritize. You know your worth, know how good you are. And everything will be fine. So it so happened that there's a lot of emotional blackmails, emotional sabotage with your relationships. And as I can see here, together with the heart, that if it is not love triangle, it's the loyalty. But as I can see here, uh, wow. The love life is coming to be fine because he's here. You haven't found your soulmate yet. He's not yet here. He's not yet... He's... I can see your soulmate is from your roof. And eventually, it will be a good date and it will be a good partnership. But... I can see the next five to seven years, but eventually some, some will come. He will come and you will meet him and he's good looking, he's tall. And looking at these readings, your love life will be fine. You will find him in the Atlantic Ocean. You will cross the Atlantic Ocean. Once you see, before you, before you see him, before you meet him, it's a nice dating. It's a nice dinner, I can see. But I can see Atlantic Ocean and more travels for you in the next future. Well, you have loads of experiences. You have loads of heartaches. Some before... 
uh, you ask a man if he will choose you, you will give everything and you will give up everything, including your family, responsibilities. But it's bad because you have to focus yourself on yourself, focus on your career, and everything will follow. And you have a good heart. You love to, you're very thoughtful. You like to share recipes. You also love to teach people, to guide them, and make them com com comfortable. You're good in hospitality. I can feel it. I can see kitchen as well. And regarding to money, with the money, I'm trying to bless this one. But the card is number 10. You're the lucky one. Remember I told you before that I can see money coming, but not this time. In the offing, in the near future. You will travel abroad. I know you have dreams. I know you have admissions, but you don't. Sometimes you stop believing yourself. So be confident and believe in yourself. Oh, you're a very soft person, very thoughtful, and very caring. That's why people like you, girl, boy, or anyone. You're a good friend as well. But this one is four of cups, which is a good sign that Apart from your job at the moment, there will be some bonuses, bonus coming. I don't know where, but you will receive some gifts and money, which is good and very important. And as OFW, you need to be careful about your health. I can see some weight gain and the cards is showing you to make sure save money and be careful of your decisions when it comes to your money matters. But at the end of the day, you have plans. I can see some responsibilities like insurance and other property that you invested or you will tr try to invest, which will be good. It's in the province, which is good. Family value is important to you, Filipino value. That's why you have the tendency to become homesick. You have the tendency to be very, very sad at some point. You've been depressed before, but with the help of your self, with the help of your prayers, with the help of your wishes, and some friends who manage to give you support, now you're in a good hands. And now you're in a good disposition. And I can see a couple more years that you're abroad and I can see a different change by the year 2022. Make sure you balance your career and make it make sure focus your 100% on everything which is good. The Oracle card, I shuffled it. Let me see. Okay. That's what the angel card saying to you. Okay? Clear the space around you. Feel the energy from the light. So it just says, if you have bad companies or bad influence, bad influence or shall we say, not respecting you, not good, eliminate them into your life. I think that's it. Thank you so much for listening and hope you enjoy your cards. And I can only say to you, Canadian, good luck and more power. We'll do some part two readings and more confidential readings because I've seen something on the cards, but we'll do it privately. Thank you. Thank you for the subscribers. Hello, Ka Dreamers. Good night. This is Chris Etchon saying Mabuhay. Love you.